good afternoon. Um, I'm David Graham. I'm the, the managing director of Speedy Hire. Uh, we, we're actually a, a rental company um, with about 400 million pounds worth of uh, rental fleet uh, that's out there uh, working predominantly in the construction industry, an industry that's uh, notorious uh, for the environmental impact it has. So today I'd like to present uh, our greener from the ground up strategy. It's a strategy which underpins our business nowadays. And, and aligned to that, uh, what we uh, refer to as the GO initiative, which is the, the green option. Uh, today is very much about us uh, putting some ideas into a practical marketing campaign and a business strategy. Um, so first, a little bit of uh, scene setting for you. What I have to do is I have to go back about five years. Uh, and about five years ago, as a group, we decided um, that we were going to take CSR very seriously. It was going to become an underpinning feature of our group strategy. We, we spent a lot of time with our customers, and this is very customer driven. And at our forums, uh, a number of things came out with our customers. They were looking for us to identify green products. They were very keen to help their sites, the many building sites across the country, to become more environmentally aware. And they wanted us, in our small way, to try and affect behavior on building sites. And, and from that brief, we developed what's known as the Greener from the Ground Up campaign. And everything in Speedy is from the ground up, and that's an underlying principle, because the impact and the damage isn't caused in a boardroom, it's actually caused on a building site. So it is starting at, at ground level, if you like. Speedy don't set themselves out to be environmental experts. There are lots of those around. We are a rental company. We, we, there's tomes of information, there's tomes of data. And in our marketing, we have never set ourselves out as the experts. We rely on other experts to provide us with data, and that will become a bit clearer as I speak. Our research at the time, predominantly at site level, suggested that everyone on site knew words like green, climate change, global warming. What they didn't know on site was the problem, the huge proportion of a problem that's produced by construction uh, in, in, in environmental damage. They understood words like greenhouse gases, waste. And when we started to explain at site level and subsequently at board level the impact contractors were having they were actually surprised, they were actually shocked at the impact that construction has on our environment. So, from the briefing sessions, we developed the first of our communications packages, and it was built on four big issues. Waste, use of materials, energy consumption, and pollution. The tone of the campaign was all about de demonstrating the impact that construction has, the scale of the problem, what contractors could do practically, simply, and very quickly, often very easily, to make a difference, and provide tips and ideas. In a marketing sense, we were very much on slow burn. We produced lots of ads, brochures, we had stickers, DVDs. We went out onto sites and gave presentations, probably to several thousand sites, just to explain what difference they could make. But I need to take you to 2008, because uh, as you may recall, um, you've probably forgotten by now, recession hit. And it really hit our industry very, very, very hard. And as it hit the industry, our brief changed. Suddenly, our clients were looking for something different. They were very, very cost conscious. Really cost conscious. They were under pressure. They were also under competitive pressure. And their clients were now asking them to start to demonstrate their environmental credentials. And it had to be measurable and tangible. And it was there they needed to find a competitive edge in what had become a very, very competitive market. So, the brief had changed. And in a nutshell, the brief was now quite simple, reduce environmental impact, reduce carbon, and would you believe it, 
doing all of that, reduce cost as well. What our clients were saying was, we want environmentally improved products, but we ain't going to pay more for them. In fact, we'd rather like to pay less for them. We had to give our customers a competitive edge. The GO initiative was born. The underlying principle was that it was about providing our customers with data to allow them to make informed decisions. And then they were looking for a reward mechanism, something tangible they could measure a change in their business. And from that, we, in, we initiated an, an idea called Go Credits, and I'll explain that a little bit further. It was a reward, effectively, for making the right choice about the equipment and products you used. So how does the Go Initiative work? Well, what it involves is taking core products in our portfolio and making sure that they can show demonstrable environmental benefits over alternative products. It's about working with our supply base and rewarding the many suppliers. And you have to put in context that we, in an average year, will spend 100 million pounds on new equipment and plant. We are a significant buyer and driving change in our supply chain that they start introducing products which showed a demonstrable, measurable benefit to our customers through their use. And therefore making innovation a key to becoming a supplier for Speedy. And it is now under, underpinned in our strategy. It's core to our business. It's core to our culture. But the truth was, for Go to really work, it needed credibility. It needed independent assessment. We're not a test company. We're a plant and rental company. So what we did was we went to an organization called ERM, and some of you may be familiar with ERM. Uh, they're a, a world-leading uh, environmental, environmental consultant. They work with the government, they work with the environmental agency, m and Tesco, some of the major brands up there. What they do is they take, manage, uh, they take manufacturers' data, they take products, and they independently attest them. And they test them for carbon, carbon footprint, energy consumption per hour, and the fuel savings uh, against similar, other pro similar products. So our suppliers now have to put their products to ERM for testing before they can come into our supply chain and into our network. They also do tests for products which might not have obvious environmental um, credentials. Things like spill kits, which are e equipment to stop diesel oil spilling onto the ground on a building site. And they have a 100-point matrix where they test products, which I would describe as inert, and they give them a rating. So all our products give us a rating. So what do ERM ultimately give us? Well, the output from all their work is they create a pie chart, which is illustrated in all our catalogs, our websites, and our literature. And it shows, beside the green range of products, daily fuel savings. It actually is a measured fuel saving where if you make the informed decision and choose the right product over another product or brand, that's how much money you save. In that case, I think it was a lighting tower. It was £6.18 a day if you chose the environmentally friendly light. It was showing a 47% daily saving on energy. And its carbon in kilos was saving 23.6 kilos per day is quite significant and it's measured. It gives a very quick and easy guide to everyone to choose a green option and it gives a number of credits and I'll talk about the Go credits in a second. But how's this used by our clients? Well our IT systems they pick up what a client's spend is and on a monthly basis that client will receive a statement and the statement will show the percentage of green products that their business has selected against less efficient products. It'll show them the notional theoretical pound note saving that they have made by choosing green products. And if they want to upset themselves, they can actually calculate what it's cost them not to. It allows them to benchmark building sites, one site against another. It allows them to benchmark a site's improvement monthly, quarterly. And what we issue with those GO credits 
is an internal reward system. It's about, it's just a benchmarking tool. So they can calculate how many Go credits as a business they've achieved and how many credits a site has achieved. And they can use that for internal motivational reasons, management reasons. So that's where we're up to. We've got major clients, Bam Nuttall, Costain, Carillion, household names, the sites you drive past every day of the week, fully engaged in this now. And we're rolling this strategy out very, very quickly. Speedy High recognized we're on a long journey. So far though, we've listened to our customers, we've engaged with our suppliers, we've very quickly developed a robust test process for our equipment, we've developed a control and management system to drive change with our clients, and we've most importantly, I think, we've demonstrated that green can and will be the low cost option when you hire from Speedy. We've started our journey, it's a long journey, and we're on our way. So thank you very much for listening.